moon is now about halfway eclipsed. That looks freaking amazing. It be Friday. Forgot to bring my camera yesterday to work, so I didn't film anything. So, uh, got a busy weekend, surprisingly enough. But I got two things to do today at work. First is to get these to uh, prevent my long flowing locks from destroying the plumbing in my apartment. Next thing on the list is to renew the domain for phoenixfilms.tokyo. Yeah, this train right here, this Super View Odorico is delayed 50 minutes for whatever reason. But here it is, 50 minutes late. Making this train wait. Oh, Jesus. Spill my beer. Rogue Cold Brew IPA. Oh, that's good. I don't, know, I don't know what's in that. I don't know how they made that, but that's really good. I haven't been to good beer in a while. Oh, that's hot. Oh god, this is hot. Pizza. You'd be surprised, the pizza here is really good. That's right. Can't go wrong with a little bit of rising sun. One of the best beers that Japan's ever made. <laughs> this looks nice. They are uh, replacing the brick on the road here. And god damn it. That's Tokyo gas. The hell? I didn't know they had sirens on the gas cars. So I'm at Taco Bell again and I got whatever the hell this is, a big box. Which is opening up this way. It's a taco and a burrito. This is called the California burrito. There's potatoes inside of it. I'm gonna try it. Not bad. Not bad at all. We're at Ikea, or Ikea as Ikea. they say. Yeah, I, not Ikea. What are we gonna buy today? She made a list. All right, let's figure out what we're gonna get. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> this place is cool, a lot of cool stuff. Uh, it's just furniture, but you know. <laughs> not sure what this is supposed to be, but all I know is uh, Shivers would probably like this. I wish I had a bigger apartment because I would love to put all of this stuff in there. We got pandas! Ah, panda! <laughs> you like the pandas? Shan -shan. It's like Shansha, the new panda <laughs> in Tokyo, uh, zoo, the Uena Zoo. I'm definitely talking on one channel right now. <laughs> they have a shark. I like this. This is so cute. It's a shark pillow. <laughs> a shark body. And this is a husky. Oh my god, I feel like such a kid, but these are so freaking cute. Kawaii. Kawaii. We got an owl puppet. We got finger puppets. <laughs> that is so cute. Like a bunny. Yeah, this is so freaking cute. Swedish wine. And what are those? Swedish nuts. nuts. <laughs> Chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> this is also a Sophie corner because of all the bread. They called this the Swedish style hot dog because they got caramelized onions on here. But, uh. It's popping, but Raspberry. So. Try it. <laughs> what about the hot dog? Shit. 
She like unhinged her jaw there to get that hot dog in there. Do. Mm -hmm. You heard it here first. Oi he. Instead of oi she, it's oi he. <laughs> <laughs> hey Doc. I'm not sure that's how you pronounce it. Hey Doc. I don't know. Do you speak Swedish? <laughs> <laughs> we decided we're, we're, uh, those hot dogs didn't fill us up, so we're going to Lalaport, mm -hmm. which is that way, I think. <laughs> it's over that way. I don't know. We went to Mr. Donuts, <coughs> wow, in, in uh, Lalaport to, uh, I don't know, because we want dessert. And look at this, they have uh, chocolate hearts, Valentine's theme. And then we have Ami, itadakimasu. Ah. How is it? Mm. It actually tastes like a churro. Just left life, going back to my apartment with my dinner. I usually buy, like if I'm gonna cook at home, I usually buy the ingredients the day of because, you know, I don't know my schedule a lot of times, especially in the evening, and I don't wanna buy a bunch of food and have it sit in my fridge and go bad if I don't cook it. That's not the important thing that, that I wanna talk about here. I just saw like a group of kids. They were like, I don't know, 10, 12? I, I, I don't know how old they were. But they were like dead ass buying their dinner. They just like, went through the whole freaking aisles and had a bunch of food and it was like nutritious food like they got ground beef and chicken and all that stuff and it's like they were buying groceries at that age i remember when i was 10 i couldn't decide shit for food i was like you know i went to grocery shopping with mom i was like oh i want all the sweets i want all the ice cream you know they always say like you see these uh videos on facebook it's like japanese children are always very uh independent and you know sometimes i uh, kind of dispute the viewpoint there but it's like after seeing a group of kids literally buy their freaking dinner in preparation for you know cooking it and whatnot i'm just like damn we're in a different society absolutely i mean we should teach our kids to be more independent i, I don't know it's just Kind of mind-boggling to see that. Here's a truck. <laughs> that machine is shaking the ground below me. <laughs> They're re-bricking over here too. Look at it go here. I'm gonna put the camera on the ground. You're gonna see how much this shakes. Actually, you can't really tell that much because I forgot the uh, camera has that lens. <laughs> I'm getting some lunch. This is never going to melt unless it's like 80 outside again. I just saw on Facebook that today, uh, five years ago today, I discovered I'd be moving to Japan. and. Uh, began the process of leaving Arizona State and moving to Tokyo. Probably was one of the most stressful moments of my life. Obviously it was fun. A crazy experience. And you know, I, feel, I sometimes feel like, cause you know, I lived in Arizona for a couple years. I felt like my time in Arizona and my time in Japan is like, oh wow, that was just not that long ago, but God, it's five years and I'm realizing now that was a long time ago. And uh, since I moved to Japan, I you know graduated school and I moved apartments already. So it's like, yeah. There is that gulf, there is that time difference, there is that specific that's me in Arizona and here's me in Japan uh, sort of feeling now. So it's crazy how quickly things change, but God, that was, I remember, what I, I'm, I just remember when I figured out I was transferring to Sophia University, I was like, I got the acceptance email, 
I was sitting alone in the student union, or the memorial union at Arizona State, and uh, I was like, yes, really loudly. Everyone was like, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I, I shot an email to all my professors saying I was uh, I was uh, leaving Arizona State. I began looking for an apartment. Oh man! See, I, I remember the memory. The memory is pretty vivid, but it was a long time ago. Five years goes by quick. Can't really see because of my hood. Whoa! Lens flare. There we go. <laughs> don't know where I'm going. <laughs> uh, don't know what I'm doing either. I need some food. I'm gonna go into 7 Eleven. Oh, God. Dropping it. Curry and cheese. I wonder what that tastes like. This is famous right here. I like this a lot, actually. Shinagawa maki. I don't know why they call it Shinagawa maki, but it's really good. So, this is mostly towards my buddy Chris, but. Strong notogoshi. This probably tastes like butts. Okay, I'm gonna get this. Curry and cheese. I see here, it's a mix of like, you see that? Like, I don't know, it's a mix of stuff. <laughs> I don't know how to do this one-handed. So this is, I'm guessing this is the curry part? Yeah, tastes just like Kokoichi curry. Oh, that is spicy, oh my God. Hmm. That's cheese, hmm. It's a good snack. Sort of a uh, partial lunar eclipse going on over here. This camera cannot zoom in for anything. There it goes. You can sort of see the uh, shadow there of Earth going over on the moon. The moon is now about halfway eclipsed. That looks freaking amazing. I'm trying to find a place that is less backlit, but I think I'm just in front of somebody's house. So I'm not sure where to go because I mean, there's so much light pollution around here, especially in my neighborhood. So the eclipse is. Uh, I think 15 minutes away from being totally eclipsed, so I gotta hurry up and find a spot. <laughs> you can see the moon. Pretty much the only part of the moon you can see because of my uh, light bounce, the bright part. Can't really see the details, but you're actually able to see the, uh, the darker part of the moon there. It's incredible. Someone's completely gone now. Someone's completely gone. Oops, hold on. Ah, get there. Okay, my tripod is definitely not holding it steady. Wow, that is cool. Okay, oh, there it is, there's the moon. I see that? Let me show you how good this zoom is. There we go, there's the moon. And it's almost completely eclipsed. So close. Three more minutes. Make that two more minutes. One minute. It's, almost, it's pretty much there already. You can see. Yeah, 
it's it's gone. There is no sun on that moon anymore. That is freaking amazing. And there we go. Full eclipse. Total lunar eclipse. Ain't that pretty? Let's zoom out. <laughs> this camera is amazing, isn't it? Oh, and it's out of focus. There you go. <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah, it's, it's barely being picked up on the uh, light sensor of my camera. 